My name is Samir Karashi and I'm a staff research associate here in Dr. Blalick's lab. So right now what we're mostly looking at in terms of what I'm working on, because as you know there's a bunch of people working on a lot of different things underneath the umbrella that's the lab, you know. But what I'm focusing is on, on is prostate cancer. Now, I grew up in the Bay Area in the South Bay, so here you step one foot outdoors, science is all around you. And because the weather is pretty nice, kind of had the ability to explore deeper and for longer periods of time. So anywhere from looking to tide pools to things like why banana slugs live where they do, you know? So we are always kind of on track here in introducing science to kids that are really young, like when I was really young and I got into it. Hey everyone, I'm TJ. I'm a PhD candidate in the Blaylock Club. Hi everyone, my name's Samir, and I'm a staff research associate in the Blaylock Lab. Uh, we're here to show you around. Come on in. So here's our gel bench. So this is kind of like the cross section of where everyone in the lab kind of comes to in order to get a lot of important stuff done. This is where we visualize a lot of totally different things, like a wide array of experiments. And as you can see right here, in between TJ's bench and my bench is where we get the collaborations done. Now this may look like nothing to you, but there's a lot of hard work put into the thinking process. And then on the benches themselves is where we get a lot of the hard work done. This is where eventually we get to kind of finally have that hooray moment. And as you can see, not only is it cool because we know exactly what we're trying to find, but it's also cool because when you look at this picture, it looks like Christmas. So Cancer is a big, big, big umbrella term, right? And there's so many different types of cancers. One of the things that's misunderstood, I guess, is that they're so specific. So prostate cancer is a very specific type of cancer, you know? So curiosity-wise, I wasn't looking for one particular thing or other. It's just you see the progress that people have made. So the scientists that are existing in this research realm they've made progress and they've found things and they're on the precipice of finding new things, right? And you get to read what they've published and what their ongoing progress is. And from there, you can relate to it because it's the things that kind of kept you superbly interested, you know? It's the thing that captured you. And when I came across the position that was here, I got a chance to start at that specific level of this is prostate cancer and these are the elements within the biological sphere that cause it. And the causation is what they studied here and I thought that was very interesting. I thought that if I could somehow contribute that it's a reciprocal process when you're someone in my position because you learn as much as you put into it. So I figured this would be a good starting point to tackle the pathology behind how cancer works. You know. And eventually, in time, hopefully, it will lead to us figuring out tr prevention, treatment of not just this cancer, but hopefully it translates to the entire realm, which goes into other pathologies of other diseases and so on and so forth. But we'll see. You know, so that's the interesting part about it. We all have a common goal to answer the questions that you can't Google. You know what I mean? Like, we're the ones that when you go home and you Google why the sky is blue, someone found that answer somewhere like this and that's pretty cool like that's kind of like what excites us it's the questions that we want answered and it gets on a really micro level and you might think like man am i ever going to understand what these people are talking about but when you're working with people that are also inspired so they get up and they put their shoes on and they get it done and they don't get frustrated because they've been through it and they've learned from those experiences then you learn not to be frustrated too Everyone in the lab knows how to do everything and is fearless in it. So from dishwashing all the way from doing fancy experiments that you would like read on a board and you'd be like, what is that, you know? Everybody is part of this collaborative effort within the lab itself, then from lab to lab, within the university, from university to university, and so on and so forth. And by learning that, by teaching me that, by me ascertaining that, that's what makes me someone who one day could be a great scientist. Because I understand how, no matter what your station is within the lab or your role, we're all working together, you know what I mean? So that's my favorite accomplishment, you know? That this is that kind of environment where everybody contributes and no one's above or below doing a particular thing. We see it all around us every day. People trying to tackle specific diseases and so on and so forth. But I would also like to be a part of the education of the next scientist. And because science 
is always evolving, just like the evolution that we believe in. It's like, I want to teach them to think, to trust their instincts, just like everyone told me to do my own, to explore your curiosities, to tackle the questions that envelop you and enthrall you, you know? It's your future, and it's your future. Like, you have to obtain what you want out of it, which means you have to put a whole lot into it, and the earlier you get on it, the better. So that means you got to find the environment. So volunteering in a laboratory, just emailing, like it sounds crazy, but emailing a college professor because you like what you understand, the limited amount you understand about their research, will shock you how willing people are to accept you into figuring it out. And <laughs> it's really hard, but once you get the ball rolling, once you get over the obstacle of, I don't think I can do this, like it just doesn't make any sense. Like I can read a textbook, but I can't do this or this or this, whatever science you want to do, just try. Just find an opportunity, you know, think that you can, and you'll encounter so many people that say you can't, but you will. That's just the truth. Like you can put it off for as long as you want, but you will at some point. So if it's what you really like, you have to try it. At, and the earlier you try it, the earlier you'll figure it out. You'll either have a really good experience or you'll figure out it's not for you. And what's, there is no shame in not being on board. But if you do find it's something that you want to do, you just saved yourself so much hair in the sink, just been pulled out, you know what I mean? So just try it. That's the only way you're ever going to get past the obstacle. Do. You know what I mean? Like, just do it. Mm -hmm.